Welcome to Faith Revival Place International. My name is Minister M.G. Mays. Uh, let's begin in prayer. Thank you, Father. We come to you in prayer. We thank you, praise you, give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for all that you do for us. We thank you for your revival in our hearts and minds, in our family, in our city, our town, our state, our, our nation. We thank you, Lord that you're moving in behalf of those that love you. We thank you and praise you in the image of Yahweh, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, we pray, amen. And the lesson today is the armor of God, lesson prayer. The armor of God, lesson prayer. And so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna read of the scripture we're going to talk about it and we're going to also pray uh, uh, and for ourselves around it and for others and how we can go about these things so um, foundation scripture is Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 through 18 Ephesians 6 verse 10 through 18 so let us go there and the word of God says finally grow powerfully in the union with the Lord and union with his mighty strength using all the the armor and and weaponry that God provides so that you will be able to stand against the deceivement tactics of the adversary for we are not struggling against human beings, but against the rulers, authorities, cosmic powers governing this darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil and heavenly realms. So take up every piece of war equipment God provides, so that when the evil days come, you will be able to resist. And when the battle is won, you will still be standing Therefore stand, have the belt of truth around, around your waist. Put on the righteous for the bless, breastplate. Wear the feet of readiness that comes from the good news of Shalom. Always carry the shield of truth with which you will be able to distinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And take the helmet of deliverance along with the sword given by the Spirit, that is the Word of God. As you pray at all times, with all kinds of prayer and requests, in the Spirit, uh, uh, virtually and, and forwardly, for all God's people. So, now let's, let's talk about this. Okay, so the Lord, the Lord wants us to be fully armed with Him, and with all that He has for us. You know, and so what we do, we pray these things on ourselves every time we think on them. We open our Bible up, we go to this chapter, and we thank the Holy Spirit. We we start saying, "Thank you, Holy Spirit." Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you for helping us have the fullness of the armor of God on us so that we can stand against things that are not right in this world, Father God. Thank you. We, we know your word is true. That's in Ephesians 6, 10 through um, 18. And we do claim it upon our lives and our family's life. We, we know that uh, we need the helmet of deliverance on our, our on our head so we can deliver others out of despair of this world we thank you lord through through you holy spirit helping us doing these things we thank you holy spirit we, we want you to speak through us we want you to to out, out sure your what you want to do through us and we thank you, Lord, for this armor that you're putting on us right now. That we have the, the readiness of the gospel 
of Jesus Christ on our lives. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for what you're doing for our lives. We, we honor you, Father God. We honor you and we, 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 we come to you with a uh, humble and, and a, a spirit of a rejoicement of, of being leaded down the road of righteousness through your spirit. We thank you and praise you and Yeshua Jesus name. Amen. So that, that's kind of like that, but you gotta, you gotta make it personal with the Holy Spirit as you, as you pray these things over yourself. So you need, you need a little time, you know, give, give the Lord some time and the Holy Spirit working with you and, and praying these things. Just, just don't get them all done in a minute, you know. Just give the Lord time, just like we give our a wife or husbands out there time. Let's give the Lord time and in, in the, in the Word and and praying in the Spirit on these things with the Word. And uh, just let the Holy Spirit work with us. So now um, I would like to pray with those who like to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. You know, today's the day of salvation. So accept Him now. Accept our Lord and Savior now. You know, if you're if run away from the Lord, come back. Come back now. And uh, let the Lord guide you into His righteousness, not the righteousness of the world, but the righteousness of God through the Word of God. The Word of God. So it's time to get saved. Everybody out there, it's time to get saved. It's time to get right with the Lord because the resurrection is right around the corner. God's resurrection that he promised from Genesis to Revelation to those that love him, to serve him with all their hearts and mind and strength. It's right around the corner. God's resurrection, it's right around the corner. Are we ready? Are we ready for his coming and the resurrection? Are we ready for these things? Are we ready? Are we ready? And if you if you answered, I'm not sure. Or answer, I don't know. Well, you know what? You need to pray. This prayer of salvation today. It's not something real complex. It's just mean it with your heart, mean it with your head, and mean it with everything in you. Okay. So we're gonna pray this prayer together. Okay. And then the third group is the celebration group. Those that just want to celebrate their salvation and thank and have all the witness of the angels hearing them pray it all again saying thank you Lord we're so grateful for what you've done for our life where you took me from A to Z and uh, all the beauty and holiness so here we go let's all pray this together dear God I ask you into my spirit soul and body as Lord and Savior of my life Love you, Yeshua, Jesus. Amen. If you met that prayer, I believe you're born again today. And uh, I encourage you to read the Word. And uh, if you're searching for a Bible today, make sure you get a Nelson Classic King James Bible. That's right, a Nelson one. Don't, don't get any of the other Classic King James but the Nelson. Because that one is, is, is uh, very direct... From the original context and there's a lot of the other brands uh, they might say the classic King James but if if it's not the Nelson brand it's 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 there's gonna be some things that aren't right so make sure it's a Nelson King James Bible and the second one is the one I read a lot is the complete Jewish Bible which is very good uh, St uh, Dr. Stern uh, 50 years were studying the, the Hebrew, the Greek, the Aramaic, um, you know, Cohen Greek, those things, uh, to get where we're at with, with the Word of God and the truthfulness of what it originally was. And the third one, which our, our forefathers read, the Geneva Bible, the 1999, I mean, 1599, sorry, 1999. That, that'd be pretty young, wouldn't it? But, you know, and there are versions that uh, are that young, It's and you have to wonder, wow, 
they didn't get tests over time very long if it's from 1999, right? But, but uh, so those three I recommend. And I guess for a secondary uh, one tier of it, I would say the uh, Amplified Bible. But uh, sometimes you gotta be careful there once in a while on the Amplified. But I, I'll throw that one as a second tier of, of Bibles that would be all right to, you know, to look at and read and uh, study with with the Holy Spirit and your family. Um, so now I also like to pray over for for an uh, celebration of people getting healed and delivered right now. Thank you, Father. We celebrate for, uh, that your healing power, your healing virtue of love and justice is on us and, and by your stripes we are healed and we don't push you on anything. We reverent you as God Almighty, as Father, as our Savior and Lord. And we know that you're at work right now with your healing virtue of love and justice and that you're working your healing on each one of our lives and also I pray for those that need to be delivered from alcohol drugs uh, the weeds and all the different weird things that they get past and they're, they you know we know they're all illegal and so we pray for the deliverance for family members or maybe friends or or even strangers that are out there they're doing wrong things we ask that that your healing virtue of deliverance will will minister to him through the angel of deliverance we ask the angels of deliverance to go forth and deliver these people that are out there and we thank you lord that you're going to start closing these bars down and and put them in and making them churches that we can preach the gospel to the ends of the earth with and we thank you lord we thank you lord just like billy sunday and and all the other wonderful uh, men and women that devoted their lives. And we, we take a hold on, on what Billy Sunday, when he says, I pray for the towns that go dry, that, you know, and, and we, we ask and pray that our towns will go dry and, and with, with no alcohol, no, no bars, the bars close. We pray for the, all the bars to close, Father God, and to be made churches that love God, that will honorate the word correctly. And Lord, we, we pray for these bars to close down in the name of Jesus, to, that this town will go dry, that these towns in all America will go dry for Jesus Christ, and revival will come. Revival will come forth now in the name of Jesus. Revival come forth in the name of Jesus. Through the name above all names, the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, we ask these things. Amen. So let's take the legacy of all these beautiful men and women that laid the royal robes, garments of the Word of God and, of, and all the things they did, like Billy Sonny, Smith Wigglesworth, you know, uh, Anna McPherson, Many wonderful men and women that did many beautiful things. Paul the Apostle, David, all, all, we can go on for days. So beautiful men and women, the, the Wesley brothers, you know. We, we need to take a hold of what they did and look at what they did and allow the Holy Spirit to breathe in us and say, Hey, do whatever you want in us, Father God. Do whatever you want in us, Father God. We, we might be old, we might be young, we might be in the middle of whatever age, but breathe in us anew. Abraham, look how old he was. Look at Moses, how old he was. Look at how young some, some of the best kings of Judah were. They were the youngest, not the oldest, the youngest. So guess what? That, that puts everybody's age as qualifying to be used by God. So us with your revival, breathe on us with all the founding fathers of righteousness that have been tried and true through the word of God that we could say for days and days of, of different men and women that, that did many things for, for 
and, and made a road of righteousness that we need to pick up again. And I pray that we will be uh, loyal to these things and we'll look into these men and women that and 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 uh, ones of the Bible and then, and ones that um, throughout the ages that did, did many beautiful things for as servants of you Father God and as we will be that too and this day and age right now right now accept the second God they accept the first call, the salvation and deliverance. But now we accept the second call, the ministry they have for each one of our lives. We thank you, Father. We praise you, Father God. And we just want to kiss your feet, Jesus. And we want to acknowledge you as, as also our employer that employs us to go forth for him as his disciples as his friends and as his bond servants we thank you father we praise you father we will do what we can through the holy spirit's guidance and the word of god blaze upon us make us bold in the word father god and we pray you and we give you thanks and we thank you for everything you do for us amen be at peace through the wholeness of the word and the Holy Spirit that gives us the truth. Amen. Shalom. See you tomorrow.